In a world where entertainment and identity increasingly intersect, the BAFTA Awards have found themselves at the heart of a contentious debate. As the industry evolves and more voices call for inclusivity, BAFTA's recent decision to maintain gender categories for their prestigious awards has sent shockwaves through Hollywood and beyond. For non-binary performers like Emma Corrin and Emma Darcy, who have courageously shared their journeys with the world, this decision forces them into an uncomfortable position to compete as either actor or actress in a system that feels increasingly out of touch with the reality of modern identity. The conversation surrounding gender-neutral awards categories has grown louder in recent years, with various industries re-evaluating how they honor talent. The British Academy of Film and Television Arts, BAFTA, has spent the past two years deliberating over whether to introduce gender-neutral categories, following in the footsteps of the Brit Awards, which made the switch in 2022. However, despite extensive consultations and pressure from non-binary advocates, BAFTA has chosen to retain its traditional categories, leaving non-binary performers in a challenging position. This decision not only impacts those directly involved but also ignites a broader debate about inclusivity, representation, and the future of awards in the entertainment industry. BAFTA's decision comes at a time when the entertainment industry is grappling with how to acknowledge the diversity of gender identities. Non-binary performers like Emma Corrin, who gained acclaim for their role in The Crown, and Emma Darcy, known for their work in House of the Dragon, have been vocal about the need for more inclusive categories that reflect the complexities of gender today. For these performers, the requirement to choose between competing as an actor or actress feels like a step backward, forcing them to conform to a binary that doesn't align with their identity. Corrin has been particularly outspoken about the lack of inclusivity in current awards categories. In a recent interview, they expressed hope for a future where such distinctions are unnecessary, advocating for a system that allows all performers to be recognized for their work without being pigeonholed by gender. They argue that true representation starts not just with awards but with the roles and stories being told in the industry. According to Corin, increasing representation in the material itself is crucial to driving the change needed in awards categories. Despite these calls for change, BAFTA has opted to maintain the status quo, citing the complexity of implementing gender-neutral categories and the potential impact on how talent is recognized. While the decision was undoubtedly difficult, it has left non-binary performers feeling sidelined. The revised guidelines now require film producers to confirm the gender identity of each nominee, putting the onus on individuals to navigate this binary choice. A BAFTA spokesperson did offer a small concession, the award certificate and mask can bear the term performer if preferred by the winner, but this falls short of the broader inclusivity that many had hoped for. The contrast between BAFTA and other award-giving bodies highlights the broader industry debate. The Brit Awards, which eliminated gender categories, faced backlash when their shortlist for Best British Artist was entirely male, sparking concerns about the visibility of female artists. Shazne Lewis of All Saints has voiced her concerns, warning that gender-neutral categories risk excluding women from recognition and diminishing their achievements. Her comments underscore the tension between progressiveness and the unintended consequences that can arise when well-intentioned changes are made without fully considering their impact. This debate isn't limited to the UK. The Oscars and the Tonys have also explored the possibility of gender-neutral categories but ultimately decided to retain their traditional formats. The hesitation to make such a significant change reflects the complexities involved in balancing inclusivity with the need to ensure all voices are heard and celebrated. As the entertainment industry continues to evolve, finding a solution that honors the diversity of gender identities without erasing the contributions of any group remains a significant challenge. BAFTA's decision to maintain gender categories has sparked a crucial conversation about identity, representation, and inclusivity in the entertainment industry. For non-binary performers, the choice between actor and actress feels limiting and outdated, yet the path to fully inclusive awards is fraught with challenges. As this debate continues, it's clear that the industry is at a crossroads, with the need to recognize and celebrate all forms of talent without forcing individuals into boxes that don't fit. Whether BAFTA and other institutions will eventually adapt to the changing landscape remains to be seen, but the discussion they've ignited is one that will undoubtedly shape the future of how we honor excellence in film and television.